Hey everyone, this is Eric with Real Property Management. Welcome to 2973 Seclusion Bay Drive. It's a little bit of a rainy, misty day. Here you can get an idea of the neighborhood. Really high-end neighborhood. Very well taken care of. HOA does a good job. Right, let's take a look at inside. You can see standard two-car garage, a little bit of extra shelving on either side and some storage shelving above the car. That can of course be raised and lowered, you know, if it's interfering with the truck. Uh, forced air furnace, water heater, garage heater. Here we are in the entryway. There you can see the entry door to our left, I'm spinning to the right. You can see we're the bottom story. We're going to go upstairs first. So we've got that modern open concept kitchen and living room. You can see big living room, really well lit, nice laminate floors. See a light overhanging where the dinner table would be. And we've got a breakfast bar on the kitchen island. Gas range, all stainless steel appliances. Modern lighting. Cabinets are in great shape. And we've got a small deck off the side. overlooking the front yard. Okay, then we walk down the hall and we're going to check out here's the bathroom, the upstairs full bath see the nice single piece around one of my favorites for sure easy to maintain easy to keep clean no tile grout to worry about so that door right there is a jack and jill door so you can access it from the master which we're in right now so that door center frame right now we go into that same bathroom we just came from i'm going to keep it closed so i don't show myself in the mirror I'm ruggedly handsome, but you'll just have to take my word for it. There we go. Here's the walk-in closet. Okay, we've got another upstairs bedroom. I apologize, it's a little bit dark. Murphy's Law, this is the day that the light bulb burns out. Unfortunately, I don't have one with me today. As you can see, a medium-sized bedroom. Also make a great office. A big window to my left letting lots of light in, despite it being, being kind of a gloomy day. Okay, if it were me, because this is right off the kitchen, I would make this a pantry, as opposed to a linen closet. All right, let's go back downstairs. There's the door we came in from, the garage. Here we've got the included washer and dryer with the storage shelf underneath. Put an extra cabinetry on the top. This is one of those geeky property manager things, but this is what's called a water manifold. I won't wrestle with it right now. But basically, what's really neat about these is, let's say there's a problem with a toilet and it's leaking. You can shut down just that uh, sort of circuit of water and still have water to the rest of the house as opposed to the old school method of you know nobody's taking showers nobody's going to the bathroom till it gets fixed so one of those little things that you wouldn't think of but boy are they handy got a hallway closet hallway coat closet another small bedroom downstairs See, paint in here is in really good shape. 
Here's the downstairs full bath. Again, we got the easy to maintain single piece around. Nice shower head. I like it when people don't scrimp on the uh, shower heads. That's a nice one. And we've got extra medicine cabinet above. Small single sink vanity. Okay, then we're going to turn left. We've got a second living room downstairs. A cool playroom, second entertainment, you know, game room. Then we turn to the right, you can see the rest of it. And lastly, we have another bedroom down here. So much of the one we were just in, a little bit of a darker accent wall. I think if I was going to make any room the office, I think it would be this one because this window to our right faces the green belt. Let me show you that. One of the things I like about this neighborhood is they have green belts backing up. So I'm not staring into somebody's backyard. I'm staring off into old growth birch and black spruce. And yes, moose do come through here. Got a small deck at our feet. Nicely stained, great shape. Full splinters, which is always nice. All right, so that pretty well concludes our tour of 2973 Seclusion Bay Drive. If you'd like to come out here and see it, you can do that any time of the day. You can go to RPM Last Frontier.com. Again, that's RPM Last Frontier.com. You'll see a Combined calendar of all the showing agents. You just pick a time that works for you and we'll come out here and meet you. Same thing if you want additional information, including up to date pricing, pet rules, all that fun stuff. You'll find that at that website. Just click search rentals in the top left at rpmlastfrontier.com. You'll also see a little blue button on the side that says apply. So if you're out of town, you don't, you're not going to want a showing. You can just go straight to applying. Alright, that pretty well concludes our tour. Thanks for watching. And you have a great day.